My name is Benjamin Bailey, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use indirect lighting in Blender 2.5 Alpha 2. Going over to our Properties window and hitting the World panel, we're going to go down to Indirect Lighting and click that. Next, we're going to turn the factor all the way up to 1, leave Bounces at 1, and since ray tracing isn't working for me yet, I'm going to switch it over to Approximate. Now hit the Fall Off button and turn it to about 1. That way, the emit value won't be too overpowering on our scene. It won't light our scene up too much. So I'm going to go into side view, zoom in some, and then I'm going to take off this wall by hitting X and deleting the faces. I'm going to bring it up some. Then I'm going to bring our camera and use Shift F to zoom over here, fly down, this little flyby camera thing and rotate it some until it's just right. Next, I'm going to take this little boxy room and go over to the materials panel and set it to a really bland texture. Take off all the specularity and just turn up the diffuse some. Next, I'm going to go over to side view and then I'm going to add a UV sphere by hitting Shift A and going down and adding UV Sphere. Size that down some and bring it up. Going to bring it up till it looks like it's right on the floor. Real quick here. And then I'm going to hit the period key so I can scale to the cursor. That way um, I won't be scaling to the center of the sphere, but I'll be scaling to the center to the 3D cursor so I can keep it on the floor. Next I'm going to hit S to size it down some and then grab and shift Z to constrain it to the X and the Y axes. So I'm going to size it up a little bit. Then I'm going to set smooth and go over here, add new and add a material called glow. I'm just calling that for fun. So there's a few things you have to do to make this look right. First, you need to turn the emit value up to about 2. And then you'll want to change the diffuse color to some obnoxious high number. The threshold for colors in Blender go up to 1, as you can see. But what if we wanted to make it a higher color? You can do that by clicking on the number and entering 2, or 3, or 4, or 10, just depending on how bright you want to make it. And we can kind of move it around some. We can even change it to 3 to make it even brighter, kind of give it some sort of awesome light blue color. And then I'm going to hit Control w to save real quick here. We're just going to call it Tutorial. And now I'm going to render it with F12. We'll see how this looks, and voila, it looks pretty good. But as you can see, we have one problem. We have some specularity going on, and that's because we have a light in our room, which we don't need. So we'll zoom out and look and find our light, our little culprit here, and delete that since we don't need it. Now let's check our render again, see how it looks. And voila, that is indirect lighting, my friend. It is incredibly awesome, and I hope you really enjoy it, using it for lighting up your scenes and making little mushrooms that glow in the dark like from Avatar. So just have a bunch of fun with it and show me your renders in the comment section and uh, have a lot of fun with this feature. I love it. I've been looking forward to it for a long time and it's super awesome. So go do it.